Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 116th episode of the Alter Ego Podcast. That's it. That's all. We're here. 116. My buddy Ryan, how you doing, buddy? I'm swell, sir. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Mr. Nello, how are things? Hello. And my sweet Petunia. Why am I always last? Staring the... Save the best for last. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. Except... You see how offended she got? Wow. She was like, why am I last and I had, right now? I had genuine, like, a reason for going like, to her last. I know, right? You're like, my sweet daffodil who's bearing my child. Yeah, I'm like, you're like, you. and I'm last. Excuse me. <laughs> you ham hock. I'm only first due to affirmative action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. HR will come after me if I don't say hi to Ryan first. Oh wow. God. If I don't greet him... <laughs> Somebody out there is going to be upset Uh huh. while they talk Some. to a black guy last all uh, the time, huh? Did you hear episode 83? He didn't even say hi to Ryan. <laughs> he wasn't there. He wasn't there. I don't care. <laughs> Book him, Dano. Get him. <laughs> and that'll be the end of the Alter Ego podcast, episode 86. I love the Hawaiian. Uh, I don't even know what episode 86 too. is. We got to go back and look. I'll look right now. Okay. Thank you. What's episode 86 for uh, Alter Ego Podcast? You should look while you bum, 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 browse uh, Ford Supply Company. You know, the sponsor of this wonderful show who offers a curated line of craft soaps and beard care handmade in the USA, offering scents like coffee and cream, coconut, citrus, cedarwood, and many more. Check out the full line of craft soap bars, beard oil, and beard balm online at FordSupply.com. Free U.S. shipping and all orders over thirty on all orders over thirty-five dollars, and get an additional ten percent off with the promo code Alter Ego for itself. Real soap. No bullshit. Sadly, it was I got to re-up on my lime eucalyptus. Was it a newsie? Yeah. What was it about? So we talked about, oh, we talked about Vox Machina, though. Hey. We talked about Blue Beetle. A show. A Nintendo legend passes away. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dr. Disrespect, Henry Cavill, uh, continuing with the nerd royalty. I love, I love Henry Cavill. By the way, Punisher's new look. Have you heard? There's a um, there's a rumor going around that uh, in the next season of Loki, that Mister Henry Cavill will be playing Hyperion. If you don't what? know who Hyperion is, Hyperion is literally Marvel's answer to like Superman. So they have a Superman. It's it's Hyperion. He's got all the same kind of powers. Obviously, he's not Kryptonite or the Yellow Sun or anything like that. That's but kind of, that would be kind of perfect and kind of just hilarious. ultra powerful. <laughs> I would I would love that. That would honestly, geez, the president and vice president of Nerd Nerd City would be Henry Cavill and Carl Urban, with all the stuff that they've been in at this point, right? I mean, like, yeah. They've, they've been in everything. I'm ready for Carl Urban to take this next step, though. Oh, I'm I know ready. what he wants. There was more. Uh, and actually, go check out the Alter Ego Instagram page, um, Alter Ego Pod. Uh, there is some wonderful cosplay. Not cosplay. What <sighs> fan is art. What's the fan art? Thank you. It's fan art of Carl Urban as Wolverine. Mwah. If you see that yeah, and good. don't get like jazzed up to see Carl Urban play Wolverine, it's kind of weird. My wife got jealous when I saw that picture. So you don't get this excited for me. I'm like, you're not Carl Urban. Well, I'm telling you. I think we as a group are uncomfortable now. <laughs> I think we I'm just telling you, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready for Hugh Jackman to. Okay, you were great. There's reason number two, HR is going to call. <laughs> hey, so I heard uh, one of your guests was harassing Carl Urban. <laughs> Another great Carl and his people. <laughs> Carl's team wants you to settle down, please. Yeah, he, he's an avid listener and did not appreciate being ogled. Right. Ogled. <laughs> I bet he loved o- it. Ogled? What's ogled mean? Is it the same thing as is being it- oogled? Oogled? Ogled? However you say it. Potato what does it mean? Tile? I've never heard this word. Being oogled. You have heard uh, the term. Now I almost said ogled. <laughs> I- <laughs> Wearing off on him. You are. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't People matter. People swooning for Carl Urban. Yeah. Oh, dreamy. Yeah. They never heard Oogle ogled. But whatever. he's got the Be attitude. He's got ogled. the look. He's got everything. He could play Wolverine in his sleep. No problem. 
Is there a better character? Is there a better person that would fit that character right now that you can think off the top of your head? Wolverine? Yeah. Like, right now, if I gave you the contract, you pick Wolverine, who would it be? Yeah, uh, that'd be Taron Egerton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's who I'd pick. Because he's young, he's got the physique for it. He's he could short. play him for a really long time. He's short. He's very charismatic. And I think he would like the opportunity to be more of the the gruff and manly side of things, right? Like he's been very elegant what? with the whole uh That man's been a gentleman. That's what I'm saying. Killing people. He doesn't want to be the gentleman anymore. Let him be the guy who want to rip your guts out and show them to you. No. Manners make it Sorry. man. And I love him in that. That's actually one of the reasons I would want to pick him because I know he could do all the physical stuff. He'd be fine. Too refined, if you ask me. M- M- Logan's yeah. like more of like a rough, scruff son of a... Guy. I actually think Hugh Jackman was too pretty to play Wolverine in terms of the way he... I was like, I didn't buy it. The only time I was like, okay, I see him as Wolverine is that moment in X-Men Days of Future Past or whatever, one of the uh, original X-Men where they're going around trying to recruit people and there was Wolverine drinking and smoking a cigar. Oh, in the bar? And they walked up and they're like, I'm Eric Lencher. I'm Charles Xavier. Fuck He's off. like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and they were like, we're out! And I was like, that's the most Wolverine I've ever seen out of anybody. He looked good in, in uh, Logan, too. No, in fact, did. that he was did. not scripted, that part. Right. Oh, but really? It was improv? It was, so it was improv. That's yeah. dope. And they, it, kudos to Fassbender, too. And uh, James McAvoy for rolling with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of being like, uh, um, Mr. W- Mr. Wolverine. I, I would know. like Hugh Jackman in a Deadpool movie. Though. I want to see that Wolverine in I a Deadpool I think everybody wants I, to Yeah, see I was about that. to say, I think everybody wants that cameo. They want that interaction. They want to see. Because like, everybody thinks that Ryan Reynolds will dominate that scene. I don't think so. I think Hugh Jackman can hang. Oh, I think he with absolutely Ryan can Reynolds. hang. Oh, on like an acting level? In oh, terms bro, of yeah, in absolutely. terms of being Wolverine dealing with Deadpool, I think Wolverine would be uh, You be know what so I kind of would love is if there's a scene where Deadpool is very like in the moment in the movie and then like Hugh Jackman is there as Wolverine and he breaks the fourth wall. Ah. You don't think no. so? I think that shit would be funny. I think You think it's just too much? I think I would just love to see him trying to talk to wolverine and having him just like cut his head off or something like <laughs> mid-sentence like he's wolverine's so sick of him that he just t- completely gores him and then he catches it and he's still talking to him he's like listen this isn't gonna work or just the severed head is talking to him as he walks away and the body's like following him <laughs> i don't know that'd be cool um yeah I, let's let's get into it we've got some news for today some interesting stuff uh coming out of the video game world we talked about it last week dragon ball z coming to Fortnite. <sighs> guys i've never been a Fortnite person ever in my life never and uh i jumped on Fortnite just to check it out video games have had a drought for me lately i was so stinking bored overwatch i think overwatch 2 is gonna let me down in a major way I'm just not looking forward to it. 1.5? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And one of my buddies was like, hey, just jump on Fortnite with me. I was like, I'm sick of the game rotation. I'm sick of all it. Fine. Let's try Fortnite. I jumped in. I won my second game. I got third place in the first one, and I won the second one. And I was now, like, I'm a little hurt personally. I've been trying to get this guy to play battle he royales. He, like uh, he won't, he won't play Warzone, but he, no, might, no, he, he, he uh, got me in my first ever uh, battle royale game, which was PUBG. Oh yeah, we played Pub, PUBG together, and I hated it. No, I didn't get a chance to even get you to play it. I did play it. You didn't play it with me. No, I didn't play it with you. But that's I did how play I got it. suckered into Overwatch, <laughs> which actually worked out well. Yeah, but yeah. Um, and for the record. Overwatch was much better than PUBG. Uh, but, I had yeah, some good knows. times on the PUBG. It. But um, either way, I've never been doing one for the Battle Royals, but now that I see like all the skins that you can get, people running around as Vegeta, John Wick, the Batman who laughs, and all the just skins that they've created for that game in general, I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. And then I started playing, and I'm looking at all the achievements and all the things that you can do. Like, you don't just need to jump in and try to win every single one. If you yep. do, you're probably going to hate the game because that's how it was explained to me when I first played. Jump in, you try to be the last man standing. And I was like, wait a minute, there's other stuff that I can do. 
I can go over here. I can go do this. And now I'm just like, I've been playing nothing but Fortnite. And I got on and a buddy of mine jumped in. and was like, <laughs> this is after Ryan jumps in my party and goes, <laughs> it says, John McClain has joined the party. And then he goes, uh, ha, <laughs> he goes, I see you're playing Fortnite over here. And I was, I was a bashful little kitten. And I was like, yeah, just, just checking it out. No big deal. I'm just looking at it. Yep. And then weekend. I saw the next day and I'm like, um, next day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already level like 70. And I'm like, I'm going to end up playing that Fortnite fast? now. I'm really good. Just to bad. play with them. It's not bad. Yeah. You watch your mouth. It's not bad. And so uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed, but I, it took Dragon Ball Z to get me there. But you can do the Kamehameha in the game. And it is the scariest thing of all time. When somebody jumps up and you start hearing them going, come here. I'm like, run, run. <laughs> I just just tell my buddy, I go, listen, if I hear that, I'm dipping. I'm gone. Gotta We're go. not on the same team uh-huh. anymore. If I hear that, like, it I'm, goes through buildings. It goes through structures it, as it should. Oh, so yeah. it's accurate. It's accurate. See, when I, I really was thinking about playing Fortnite was when they uh, came out with the whole Thanos thing. Oh, I wanted to play so bad then. So I understand content rotates. Yeah. It does, yes. So so Thanos could come back. Potentially, yeah. I saw... So the thing that got me hooked was actually getting killed. Um, really? I got killed by somebody, and I was like, dang. And then you spectate who killed you, and he was dressed in full Boba Fett armor. That's dope. And I was like, okay, all right, all right, okay, I got to get Boba Fett. I don't know when he's coming back. But those microtransactions will add up. And praying. Well, no. If you play, you get the little V bucks. Mm-hmm. You don't. Is have it to enough points stuff. though? You get enough. Was it like five V bucks every tier? I honestly, like I have played Fortnite three times, and I couldn't tell you. And that was. By years the way, ago. this is not the build mode. That was the most ridiculous thing of all time. Playing somebody in build where you're shooting at them Dude, and these, all of a sudden a wall pops up in front of them i was like i don't understand how this works my nephew plays build mode i can't keep up i, I don't i don't know i can't do it no bro it's like, they're like clicking buttons i'm like what is going on yeah i just, just want to shoot people yeah <laughs> exactly. i just want to shoot so now, not literal people just like people right 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 but the zero build mode that's what got me i was like yeah. okay no so nobody's gonna be, like i understand running for cover perfectly fine that's no issues. I'm not even frustrated. I would do the same thing. But when you're in an open field and I get the drop on you <laughs> uh-uh. and you throw a wall and start building a tower to heaven <laughs> to stop me, I'm like, what What are we What are we doing here? Stay Bro, right ahead I was blown Stay- away my first time playing because I played with a buddy of mine and I go down and I'm like, oh, I'm about to be dead. That's what happens in every other yeah, 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 yeah. one that happens. All of a sudden, I have a castle built around me my boy has killed like six people picked me up and we're running we finished second that game and that's only because i didn't hit my last shot but and he had to save me like for the fourth of course, time of course had, he didn't hit the last shot that's why that's yeah. exactly what well that is. and uh he had to pick me up for like the fourth time i had the guy and the guy sniped me and he tried to pick me up instead of killing the guy yeah but i just couldn't believe i'm like dude what what is all of this like i, I don't understand it how did this get here <laughs> Yeah. This castle was not here when I went down. Yeah. It was like grabbing materials. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm picking up guns. He's like, no, you got to grab materials to build. I'm like, okay, what's that going to do? And, oh, that's cool. You just built the Taj Mahal. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's no and That's no what happens bueno. when you take a game that failed and you try to make a game that was good. So. What, do you, what does that mean? Wait, what? The tower defense. That's where the building comes from. Oh, True. listen, listen, listen. I love tower defense games. I love that. When that's the premise and I'm building stuff like that for tower defense, I'm I'm down. It's true because when that's I brought the, up Fortnite That's the premise him, of the game. When I brought up Fortnite to him, that's what he said. He's like, oh, I liked it when it was tower defense. No, I, I never got like to it. play it, but I saw the advertisement for the no game. No one did. And it was <laughs> tower defense. And I was like, like when I play Gears of War, and you can ask this one, I've played Gears of War more than most games ever. Mm-hmm. Um, I play Horde mode. Where you build stuff and you defend against the waves of enemies. That's my that's my jam. I love that. Uh, anyway, we're not we're not gonna stay on Fortnite. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Um, let's let's talk about more stuff here. Spider Man. Hold on, it's, hold on. Before uh, we get off video games, we're today. not off of video games. Oh, I thought we were off. Video but games, keep I'm going. Sorry. No, no, you had. Something no, no, no. My bad. My bad. No, it's Fortnite right. too, isn't Please. it? I just want to say one thing. 
I, the, wish, the I video, wish you would. The video game graphics of Madden 23. Has oh, any, Has yeah. anybody seen these linemen? These linemen look like me. <laughs> well, <laughs> skinny on the top and literally just round in the midsection. Like they've never seen a gym or a weightlifting. And your no EA, your EA games, no you, like legit. Look at it. I, I don't believe you right it's now. It's crazy. You sent me media, which I don't look at. Uh, every day. Jeez. I send you shit every day. You know he do. sends me stuff every day, and I'm like, I just want to go, I'm not going to look at this. I, he he told me that, this bro. before, and I, I, don't, I ignore. I just keep sending him shit. <laughs> Eventually, he will click some stuff. Oh, no. If like 20% look of the time at it. he this, clicks Oh, wait. It. No, this looks great. No, no. Look, the bottom one is 22. The top one is 23. Oh, He's, <laughs> well that's a problem yeah let me see so this is the guy in real life this is him last year looks really good mm -hmm. that's him oh, this year oh it's fluffy. so bad oh he looks fluffy did that's quentin, all i wanted to say did quentin nelson put on 80 pounds yeah. i mean yeah. at least 80 pounds of fat and lost every muscle in his arm and shoulder <laughs> that he had he's just putting if now. you're ea games and you 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 <laughs> your people have been paying 60 to 100 dollars for this game and you're not putting any effort into these bodies like I feel it's cheated. My ninety nine dollars like, went like in the toilet. How that's where he goes. That's all I want to say. I don't like, like how this, shapely the a, linemen are. Is this a thing well, where I mean, they're trying to make like bad. normal men feel good about themselves? No. Or so, no. so this game, like the whole tag for EA is EA Sports. It's in the game, meaning if it's in real life, it's in the game. Yeah. So they're trying to make the game as close to real life, and if that one lineman <laughs> is any indication, they're failing. I would really. hate for them to genetically make me up in that game <laughs> i was looking at jordan hargraves literally jordan hargraves a, looks my, like my, a tire my character would be walking out there with a jar of peanut butter <laughs> hey guys <laughs> legit is what it looks like i'm sorry go it's on just bad yep that's uh, why i wait to buy madden now i'm mm, don't out it. um playstation just dropped spider-man on pc Ooh. Oh, I yeah. bet that looks amazing. And I heard the first thing that somebody did was uh, <laughs> they, they, mods. They modded it. They started insanely. modding it instantly. Well, no, the first one they modded was Kingpin oh. as, as Spider-Man. So to watch Kingpin's big ass flying around <laughs> the city was kind of funny. That's it's awesome. cool to see the one at Stan they Lee, also, though. They also did Stan Lee. And what they also did, they got the game got hate because apparently there's a section of the city that is very heavily dedicated to pride. People didn't like that, so modders went in and made the entire city pride. I was like, I'd play that. That'd be dope. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters either. I love how people allow things to make them so angry. It yeah. is what it is. You Welcome to I mean? the 21st century. Yeah. Um, but last thing for video games, um, The Last of Us got a trailer <gasps> today. The show? It the looks show. so good. Have you seen it? The teaser? No. <laughs> Sexy. Watch it. Last Sorry. Kazun it snuck up on me. <laughs> Um, I had a tickle. Yeah, well, golly. Oscar, what is his name? Oh the my gosh. De La No, he's not Oscar. I can't think of his name now. Pedro the Pascal. Grouch. Pedro, Pedro Pascal. <laughs> yeah, so has Pedro Pascal ever been anything that like wasn't good? Do you remember him being in anything that's terrible? No, I remember him showing up and being like a big deal in Game of Thrones. Being oh, the, my God, uh, he was Oberyn. Yeah. He got his eyes freaking pulled Oberyn out by the Marshall. mountain. After he straight up was killing Murked the mountain. Murked him. Yeah, I was mad about that. That's about when I quit watching that stupid show. Uh, yeah. It was about the death. That's when it started. But see, the problem there was they couldn't let him win because then the entire, uh, who was the house that was in charge at that time? Uh, the, the Lannisters. The Lannisters would have crumbled. Mm -hmm. The entire Lannister thing. Well, it wouldn't have crumbled, but they'd have been exposed. You don't get that like anticipated hound versus the mountain fight that wasn't even as good as it could have been. It really wasn't. Yeah, but anyway. On that yeah, stairway or whatever the fuck that would have been. I don't know. I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. Last of Us, though. That looks legitimate. That looks really good. Um, I'm interested to see, and I like the tone that they're setting. Like, it looks very survival, very accurate to the game. And for the girl to be like, everyone I love has left me. He's like, you don't know shit, little girl. I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh Pedro, be nice. I don't know. I'm interested. I I'm think interested. it's piqued my interest. I'm interested if they keep to, like, The Last of Us storyline in the first game. Compared to that second game, whatever they oh did boy. in that. Here he is. Because that first game was amazing. He's, he smelled himself a bandwagon I'm, and he's I'm jumping just saying, on it. I'm just saying, the first game was amazing. The second game was not as good. I have See? heard from a lot of people who played that that were like, the second game is incredible. It's so good. I'm playing the first game now and I'm not impressed. What? So, 
For me, I, don't know. I would like to see something completely different. What don't you like? Uh, the game controls. Oh, terrible. Not narrative. I'm talking about like, the story. Story, I'm, I haven't seen anything that's like blowing my socks off yet. So it's your. I like the opening the to it a lot. The opening was kind of decent. That was good. Yeah, it's hard to please Ryan if you guys can't tell after 116 episodes. Yeah, it's it hard is. to please. It's Mean guy. Girls or Bust. That's basically yeah. what pretty it much. Is. If they put that in video game form, holy crap! What if they made it? And oh my god, here's a great, here's a million dollar. A Mean movie Girls idea. Battle Royale? No, no, no. A Mean Girls like post apocalyptic movie. What? Yeah, like I, I'd like watch the it. girls standing on like one of those Mad Max towers. She's got like the 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 boom mic, and she's like, "Stop, mate, trying to make fetch happen." <laughs> and she's wearing pink because it's Wednesday. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Oh my god! What universe have we stepped into? I don't know. Last of Us looks good. Go watch the trailer. I'm excited. It's coming out in 2023, though, so don't get too excited. Uh, on to movies and TV, television, television. Uh, the world's second largest theater chain filing for bankruptcy. Oh, Is that yeah. AMC? No, it's Regal. Regal Cinemas. It's the one that's right here, too, which means we might be getting ourselves an AMC right here. On the hey, board. I'm still going to the AMC. Oh, of course. Of, go, course of course, of course, of course. I'm just saying. Cool. Yeah. Is that why they changed the name of the, the, the Regal <sighs> at the Tyrone or whatever? I have no idea. Is this like CMX now? Or I wasn't part of the board oh, meeting that's, where they uh, filed Tyrone, for bankruptcy. Tyrone, that's Cobb. It's a oh, Cobb is it theater. Cobb? They changed it too, or maybe I think that is, I think yeah. Cobb got bought out by CMX or mm-hmm. something. I mean, can you? Along, along I mean, uh, so so how long is it before movie theaters aren't a thing? That's Honestly, probably, I thought it was going to happen during COVID. Me too. Yeah, and I'm surprised that they actually made somewhat a comeback. I really, I really don't want that. I, I enjoy the theater experience. Me too. Not I me. think it's just going to be more niche and go a little bit fewer and further between before you're going to find like a decent movie theater. I do not like paying ninety seven dollars for nachos and a drink. And it's only and getting more a movie expensive. That's kind so. of bad. That's I mean, kind, of, kind bad. of bad. A lot of them are bad. But I've got a seventy five inch TV in my house. I'd rather sit in my underwear. I mean, not have to freaking get dressed, put on that's pants. A good point. They just tried. To, then, they just failed at a high five. Yeah. you couldn't, <laughs> no, you we couldn't didn't. see that. We didn't. We failed. We touched. It, Brian, they, yeah, Brian's headphones like, almost flew off his head trying to give a high <laughs> it five. It was like a pinky thumb thing. Like it was bad. <laughs> if I offered you a subscription service, fifty bucks a month, but you get to watch every brand new movie when it comes out from your home, I'm so you wouldn't sign up. No. no. What? I would. I'm I, so I agree. No. Uh, I, uh, I, we I wouldn't go, sign we, up, we, but we I'd still like, wait for it to hit streaming. We see like four to seven movies a year. I, I'm yeah. not spending what's six hundred dollars. We year really don't find movies. a lot of movies that are like we need to go to the theater for that, unless it's right. for the show, show for the podcast. In which case, we we will go and we will see it. But if movies went away, I think certain ones. Uh, excuse me. Like the last time I had a great experience in a theater was Endgame and watching the crowd oh, freak out. God, it was so amazing. I mean, that was amazing. But I mean, other Spider- than that, Spider-Man if I can avoid rubbing we shoulders went. with a big group of people, yeah, that was really good too. But Spider-Man. he also got to see it before me, so he was more excited to see how I took the movie when we, when we went together. Yeah. But just to go back to your point in, in the $50 subscription thing, the only thing that makes me kind of maybe lean that direction is the fact that I might not be able to go to a movie theater for quite a while coming up. Well, first of all, I think your idea would, so. would be a killing if, if all oh, of the big major so money. movie distributors were somehow yeah. able to finally agree. And then all the, the actors problem. and all the people in the, yep. what's the big SAG uh, yeah, the yeah. all the SAG real, folks guilt, mm-hmm. were actors. able to, to come to an agreement to allow $50 a month. Uh, uh, yeah then sure i think it would make great money but uh, hypothetically i don't think it would be something that would work i mean i'm not even opposed to the way they did it before where it was like 30 dollars to watch it yeah in one movie yeah. i mean i'm okay with paying a ticket price for a movie and just not having to go to the movies right you yeah. charge me the 12 15 bucks a person or whatever yeah yeah Fine. so you're talking about like uh like Black Widow, did you pay to pay? Did you pay like, to watch that, or did you had, wait for it to get released? When movies came out, you could actually just pay the thirty dollars or whatever and I, watch it. 
Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say I, I don't, don't think we had to either way, yeah. but I'm pretty sure we saw it in the movie theaters. We saw it in theaters because it was an Avenger movie coming out in the theaters, and I have not missed a single Avenger movie in the right. theaters that has not come out due to COVID. I watched. I paid for it as soon as it came out. Thirty bucks. Take my money. I got, I watched it at my house. That was my great. own snacks, my own food, my own you everything. Drink, we literally yeah. watched. We watched that last night. But I agree. I mean, even sporting events. Uh, you know, I, I just know this I have mixed feelings on podcast, it because I, right. I would much rather sit in the comfort of my own home. Right. And my food, sorry, I challenge any stadium in the country. My food's better than yours. Chick Fil A has cheaper. entered the chat. It, <laughs> 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 I would have also they accepted. Don't, they public. don't play in NFL stadiums, baby. <laughs> Monday they nights and Thursdays. Sunday. <laughs> I know, right? How, what is the point of being in the, in the Atlanta Stadium if you're not open on Sunday? Uh, Name recognition. <laughs> Um, yeah. but yeah, I, I would much rather sit at home and watch it. Not to mention, um, the thing that's revolutionary that I love is, is pausing it. And like, if there's a thing I can be like, Oh, check this out. I want to rewind that and go back and look instead of seeing it in the theaters and going, Oh, I missed yeah. that. I've got to come back and pay another whatever. Anyway. Or that um, annoying person that won't shut the hell up. Who's that? Like me, for instance. Yeah, oh, yeah, bingo. Bingo. probably a Philly fan. Bingo. Probably <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not the, gonna lie. I was disappointed my first time out to, to a game. I'm like, geez, man, like this is. I would rather be at home. Like, we went, awesome we went together, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, that was my second time. Oh, but we, my very we, first time, I'm like, I got awesome seats. Yep. And this is my team. I flew to Tennessee because I'm a Titans fan. Yep. And I'm like, I would much rather be watching this in at the home. Hotel. Oh, we didn't not make it to freezing the, yeah. my ass off too. That was the other thing. It was like 30 degrees outside. I mean, it's a cool experience, but after a while, you're you're just like, I could. Be drinking a lot yeah. cheaper beer at home. Anyway, mm-hmm. same with the movies, and I'm not surprised to see Regal uh, and and you know movies Making in general awesome. kind of going to the way of the White Buffalo. But um, let's move on from that one. How about the Boys season four already starting? Oh, they let's are already go. filming. They are already pushing that thing. This uh, this I think season four. I think I could see this series going five seasons and calling it. That's calling it. it. That's all they need though. Hey, they need the big butcher versus Homelander. We need the payoff. Somebody mm-hmm. needs to die. We've had three seasons of this. Yeah, make it butcher, make it Homelander. I don't care. One of them has to die. Progress this season. Progress the story. Let's push it to the end. They here. can't all survive. It can't be status quo. Like we were talking about it when they, when we talked about the season. Yeah, the status quo stuff. I, I'm glad that Maeve gets to go into the sunset and l- live her life. Cool, but because they want to do like spinoff projects and I'm all for that. Great. Do a spinoff project, but I'm sick of, of shows that want to just drag you along and drag Mm -hmm. you along. I get, it's a a moneymaker. I get Amazon makes tons of money off of the boys, but if you want a worthwhile show, your story can't continue to go and go and go and go and go. Yeah, so what's this new it. superhero going to be? There's got to be somebody new. What's this new I superhero? I think they're going to start building a kids team for Homelander's son, and they're going to get the boys involved with that. Ugh. Isn't that that whole spinoff on Amazon, the teen show or whatever? Oh, I, don't know. I don't know. Isn't there a spinoff show? I think there is already one in the works. <sighs> I don't know. There's don't just know. something about teen superheroes that is just a... Ugh. Speaking of teen superheroes, what? HBO Max crashed after millions of people tried to tune in to watch House of the Dragon, Unrelated. which has nothing to do with <laughs> But yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised, but we thought about watching it last night, and I'm glad that we didn't because that would have been really frustrating. I've heard from a lot of people that they didn't like it. Ooh, I haven't seen it. News. I haven't seen it. I know nothing about it, but this is typical critics and typical audiences that have their special thing that they love with their Game of Thrones. I want it to be this. I want it to be Arya. I want all this. I want Jon Snow. And then they get something different. And they're like, well, I don't, I don't like this guy. He's not who I'm used to. I don't know. The I first, haven't seen it yet, it, but that's how I feel. It gets brutal. I mean, I there feel... There is a brutal oh, so part of it. it. I've seen it. Okay. I saw it today before I came oh, here. So it's trying to go for shock value early. I don't know if you should watch it. Why? There's, I don't know. The scene that I'm talking about is pretty brutal. That's okay. I'm fine. Okay. I think I know exactly what happens having you told me that. Yeah. yeah I know. I, I have a feeling. and it may They be did that already, if I'm not mistaken. No, but this is worse. Okay. Oh. Like you, like it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, okay, Grr. okay, okay. Yeah, no, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like. Uh, that's one thing are... I actually really don't like when you're just trying to be gory or shocking for the sake of being shocking. I'm like, 
this is boring me. But I yeah. do like the actor. I don't know his name. The the uh, former Doctor Who guy. Sequester Hardunka Judd. Oh, my wow. God. <laughs> I don't know if that's his name. No. I don't know. <laughs> I don't that know. That's not his name. But no, the guy who him. used to be Doctor Who, dude, he's still good in that. He's good. 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 Yeah. Well, hey, we'll probably end up watching it for the show. But you know what yeah. I would watch for this show a thousand times over is uh, we just did Prey last week yep. talking about this. And somebody sent me an idea for a movie that they wanted to see to progress on from P Prey. And I saw it. And anybody that I talked to about this was like, shut up and take my money. Here's the thing. It's from this guy named Byron Lafayette. He goes, hear me out. A predator film set in feudal Japan starring Hiroyuki Sanada, who is the guy who played Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. He was in The Last Samurai. He's uh, the, you know, the Japanese guy they cast for literally anything when they want somebody to do a really, really good job because he's incredible. And he goes to Hattori Hattori Hanzo to Hattori get a sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. And then he kills a predator. So, I'm all in for as it. As a disgraced Ronin, where Ronin is a samurai without a master, who hunts down the predator after he fails to protect his master. I only have one question is how does he see him? Right. How does he know what the predator is? I don't know, man. It's way <laughs> samurai. Um, before we go to break, one more thing. Take Rogue my One, money. my favorite Star Wars movie, Rogue One, is coming back to theaters. They're re-releasing it with a preview of the TV show Andor, which is where one of the main protagonists in the movie is from. Oh, boy. And he's starring in. Would you go see Rogue nope. One again? I didn't see it the first time, so absolutely not. How really? how, how long is the pre preview of Endor? Andor? It doesn't say. Oh. But you, so you uh, haven't seen Rogue One, huh? No, I do not believe so. Why is that? Because I'm not really a Star Wars guy. It's that's literally why I, think I saw the first three. That's, that's, that's why it. you should watch Rogue One. I feel the same way. That's why I'm a Star Trek guy. I love Star Trek. I love watching all those movies. Star Wars, okay. Uh, Jedi, Sith, yeah, it's over. I'm done. Um, go watch Rogue One. Rogue One is good. Is Rogue One, to Rogue me, one? huh? Is Rosario Dawson in Rogue One? If I tell you she is, will you watch it? Probably. She's, She's at the in the very it. end. She's no, in it. She is in it. She's in the after credit scene. <laughs> It's really good. Well, though. I don't okay. know. I feel like you guys are telling me the truth. Yeah, I feel like he's lying. I don't know. I don't, know, I don't know, but I feel uh, like he's you lying. You should watch it. Rosario's great in it. She's one of the stormtroopers that gets killed. At she's the end. actually a, she's you. actually a key grip. She's not shown. She's just <laughs> credited. <laughs> credited. Anyway, hey, Rogue let's take a quick really break, good. and then we're gonna talk about some Marvel stuff we got coming up here, shall we? Sweet, sweet. All right, we'll be right back. Promise. And we're back. Here we are. <laughs> Jeez, today you are just like hyped, bro. You're ready to go. Do not mess with the pregnant lady, Noah. I'm not. I'm just saying she's hyped. You'll Listen. lose. You'll lose a digit, <laughs> or something. Um, let's get into Marvel, huh? Okay. Shall we? Shall I? Shall you? Scarlet Spider and the Spider Punk expected to make their debut in Spider-Man Across the the Spider Verse. How many spiders are there? Yeah, legitimately. Uh, 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 bajillion yeah. do we need to see them all i'm sorry you don't make the most successful character marvel's ever had and not make a million of them so you reach why well, I, I feel like then it makes it less successful no no, no because then there's still there's still only one miles morales and there's still only one peter parker yeah 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 so you still have your icons you still have your spider men but then you make it a little bit different and you know just aren't you watering different. it down though when you put all like yes. scarlet spider and purple spider and I don't Orangutan think so. Spider. I don't think like, so. Because it it's, it's like the whole point of Spider-Man when he made him was that he wore a mask and he could be anybody. Yep. So now that you do it and you have a girl who is, I mean, for girls, Spider that could be Gwen. their Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Woman. Spider -Gwen. Yeah. I'm like, not worried about like, I'm not favorite saying a woman can't do it. But like Miles Morales. Right. Kind of identify with that. It's kind of cool to see a black Spider-Man. He's going to throw it out there. You remind me of Jamie Foxx right now. I'm oh, sorry, I just thought you was going to be a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was one of my favorite moments of that movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, that's, I, I agree. I don't think you're watering it down. As long as you're not making your icons something different and changing them. You know what I mean? That's the one thing that kind of gets me when you take these icons and go, oh, well, all of a sudden, like when they were doing that whole thing where all of a sudden Captain America, who's been Captain America forever, is a secret Hydra agent. Shut up. Yeah. Stop no. trying to sell this magazine to me and think of something original. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Anyway, I shouldn't have gone off on Captain America's creators like that. I'm sorry. 
That's not nice. <sighs> It'll probably happen again. Oh, oh, oh. So we She-Hulk. It's a hot button issue. This is not a She-Hulk episode. Nope. She-Hulk is not the cover art. Mm-mm. But I want to talk a little bit about She-Hulk. I okay. want to talk a little bit about episode one. All right. Tell us about She-Hulk because I Have did you not seen... watch it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to get into too many details. But first of all, I loved it as much as I thought I would. Okay. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. There's a lot of people who haven't. There's a lot of people who have gone on and review bombed it. And apparently the demographic is 30 year old men. And I'm like, yeah, that checks out a lot of bruised egos who don't like to see she Hulk out there doing her thing. Even though, as I've said on this show several times, she's been around since 1984 and Which she's been breaking she's been breaking the fourth wall since before that since before Deadpool did it before all these guys who are out here like that's Deadpool's thing no 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 Deadpool's doing the She-Hulk thing okay so calm down but sorry sorry I didn't mean to go off on a tangent there yes I did is there a reason that she does that it's just to be unique oh, it's just okay. a, yeah no there's I don't think there's a, a comic or a character reason why she does that I dig it. I was just curious. Um, but yeah, she used to be back in the day, be like, I don't want to travel, so I'm just going to jump to the next panel. Oh, nice. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like stuff like that. Like a comic. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. So mm-hmm. she's always been funny. She's always had a great personality. And I think they did that such a, such good thing. And the only I thing it. that I loved at the end was the whole Captain America fucks. That was my favorite. That was, anyway, you got to watch it to see what I'm talking about. Okay. But anyway, uh, now, now he's going to watch now, it for that. I'm long. telling you. They're setting up for World War Hulk. Yes. I'm excited. I'm not going to go into any more details. We'll talk about it in like a <laughs> uh, few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A month and a half. When the series is over, we'll talk about it. But I'm 100% right. They're setting up for World War Hulk. And Mark Ruffalo has come out and said, I am down for a World War Hulk movie. I thought they couldn't make a movie because they didn't own those rights. So they don't own the rights to Solo Hulk, which means so if he's in Universal t- has to be involved. If they want to do a solo Hulk. Okay. I said a long time ago, I think it's some German company. I think that German company is owned by Universal. Uh-huh. But um, they'd have to have kind of a... Uh, civil uh, Wars thing where they're all Civil together. War thing or um, uh, a Spider-Man thing where you can't make a solo just Hulk. So they have to throw another character in there. Characters. No, just one. Oh, as long as there's two. As long as he's not like the main antagonist Correct. or protagonist. Correct. Okay. Uh, they might even just, hey, Universal, we got this check here for you. And, and Universal would be absolutely ridiculous to try to would continue never to fight this. They would never sell that to not, not, not to mention, Disney, if though. Universal came out and said, we're making a Hulk movie, everyone would be like, why? You tried twice and failed. Well, not, not just that, but like, why? We've already got Hulk. Stop. Either take the check and sell Hulk back, which they should do because they can't do anything with him. And Marvel has already shown that they can be successful with Hulk without them. They just need to put in a clause that they cannot get rid of the Hulk roller coaster, though. <laughs> no, and I hate ro- I hate fun. roller coasters, isn't and that, that's my favorite. Yeah, it's a great one. Oh, Aren't so they awesome. already getting rid of that? Shh. Don't you dare. I have to agree. It is the best roller coaster. If you have a chance to go ride the Hulk roller coaster, do it. It's amazing. Is that it? Uh, uh, um, uh, but I think... Adventure I think... No. Uh, I, we're love, gonna I love Adventure. See, I always get those two confused. I think we're going to see Hulk start to lose his cool a little bit. If you, I want to talk when? about it with you guys. I want to talk about it with you guys. When is he going to start losing his goddamn cool? When? I don't know, but we're only once, one episode of the series. Once we're done with this recording here, we'll talk more about that. I'm ready. Okay. And like you, you silly goose, will you stop? Done. You goose? Done. Okay. Let's talk about D3, huh? D3 is coming Ducks up. 3? It was so actually gonna... one of my favorite D3. Uh, the I Mighty said Ducks. <laughs> Knuckle puck time. <laughs> Knuckle puck time. D20. Actually, that was D20. 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 God. D23. D3 is when they went to Eden That's Hall right. and they had to learn how to play two way hockey. Come on. Okay. That's that's when the Bash brothers are starting to not like each other and they're arguing back and forth and stuff, right? No, they're actually split. Dean Portman was in uh that's back right. at home and he comes in to save the day at half uh intermission. Intermission, which period? <laughs> second or third? I believe it was second. Oh, they got two periods wow. of the yeah. Bash brothers? Anyway. Two periods. All right, so D twenty three 
is apparently the first ever, or this is an event that's going to happen at it, the first ever Disney and Marvel Games Showcase, September 9th. So are we going to get a superhero video game? By the way, Marvel's Avengers announced their newest hero that they're dropping to the roster that nobody cares. But, I mean, I got to say, the most recent one, Lady Thor, it, it was a miss. Mighty Thor, it was a miss. What? Because you already have Thor. You s- and they you just said do... Mighty Thor was a miss next to your wife? Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, they didn't do... I didn't even know that was a character. That's how, And I own the game. So. They didn't do her, I think, uh, enough of a difference or enough... I, I mean... It didn't grab me. They didn't give her a story to accompany her. They just had like these stills. Mm -hmm. Oh, in my universe, this happened. So now I'm here with the Avengers. And I was like, okay. Okay. But the next character they're bringing in is none other than Mr. James Buchanan Barnes. Okay. uh, The Winter Soldier. That would be pretty cool. If they give me the arsenal that the Winter Soldier has, tossing grenades and uh, having his little M16. Okay. Okay. I'll check it out. I can tell you're really gassed up about this. So excited for Bucky. You don't play that game, so you don't know. I'm still so excited for Bucky. He should be involved in everything Marvel. I mean, I'd do it. I wouldn't be mind playing it if it was like the mindless Winter Soldier where he was just like an absolute unit. Yeah. Just like wrecking machine. Going through wrecking everything with his arm and you know what I mean? But Honestly, the character that I want to see is uh, Rhodey. I want to see War Machine show up in that game. Give me that arsenal. Weren't there already talks about him showing up in that game? Yeah. And uh, the kind reason, another reason I bring up D3 yeah. is here are the rumored announcements for D23 for Marvel. Let's hear we'll, this. We'll unpack this, mm-hmm. and then we'll have our discussion. So let me go down the line, shall I? <clears throat> Can't promise anything. Uh, D23 is rumored to announce the cast and director of the Fantastic Four movie. Yes. The cast please. of the Thunderbolts movie, the Wonder Man series, a project solely dedicated to Nova. Yes. Mm, okay. Well, we're excited. A Halloween special also, that'll be yes. coming to Marvel. Yo, if we get a live action Marvel zombies, that'd be so cool. Uh, Shang-Chi 2. Sure. Armor <laughs> Wars getting, uh, uh, a little bit of an announcement and maybe some sneak peeks and Deadpool three getting announced at D There's some big winners 20 in there. three. They can't miss on the fantastic four. Nope. If they miss on the fantastic four, it'll kill the whole Dr. Doom arc. I'm yep. just telling you straight up right now you miss on, you miss, you can't have Dr. Doom and miss on the fantastic form. You just you, on the fantastic four. You just can't, you okay. can't. I'm sorry. I'm I'm starting to think more and more as this goes on that John Krasinski actually only did show up in Multiverse of Madness for a cameo. Don't be that. Don't be that fucking guy. Don't be that guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm starting to think it. There's so much <sighs> swirling around rumors of castings that are not him. Who? One of them was Henry Cavill himself, too. Uh, Henry Cavill is attached to everything. He can't do it all. I mean, yes, it's he literally can. impossible. Yes, he can. Whore mouth. Yes, he can. I mean, he's good. <laughs> I'm not saying he's not good, but he cannot do The Witcher, Superman, the Listen, guy from you Loki. You don't talk about Kalel. You don't talk about Geralt like that. You don't talk about Geralt for sure. He just can't do it all. He's still a human being. It takes time to record. Um, hey, buddy, hey, hold buddy. on, hold on. And hold on. he doesn't even Super look like Keith Richards. Man, not a regular human Keith, being. Keith Richards? Where did that come from? Whatever his Keith name is. Keith Richards? You want him to sound like that old guitar player? I mean, From, he is uh, where, where's Keith Richards? What what band did he play for? I know. I can't I, remember. I uh, but he is Rolling a really Stones. old guitar. Why does he need to look like Keith Richards? I mean, Keith Richards, I'm, I'm Rolling Stones. But oh, Rolling Stones. That's right. Right, 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 right. English musician. Okay. So why would he need to look or sound like Keith Richards? You now, know though? what I mean? Oh, oh did wow. you mean Reed Richards? Reed. Yes, sir. Could yes. You oh, yes, sir. Could you imagine right. that guy's Mr. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She pulled up a great picture of old Keith Richards. Yo, that dude still oh still could play a mad guitar. Um, but no, why, seriously. Hold on a second. Why can't Why can't Henry Cavill do all those things, Nello? At that point, you get Henry Cavill exhaustion. I have not gotten it yet. I'm I'm still here for the Henry Cavill train. Did you ever get uh, withdrawals of Robert Downey Jr. or like you're done with him? You but had Robert enough? Downey Jr. played Iron Man and then he did like Sherlock and stuff like that. He didn't okay. do other superheroes for sure. DC and so on and so Technically, forth. Technically, he did Iron Man first and then, well, did Sherlock first and then went and did the Iron Man. Sure. 
Which, by the way, he got paid less than He his- got paid $500,000 for Iron Man 1, and Howard... Terrence Howard got paid three point three million. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't crazy. get that. That's crazy. Is that because RDJ was going through some stuff, or was that his agent they, let him down? They anyway. probably didn't think that he was actually going to like be able to like stay clean for the role. I'm going to disagree. Honestly, man, because he probably walked in there, man. He was like, "Hey, man, it's hard out here for a pimp." <laughs> Terrence they Howard have to pay him. <laughs> I think Robert Down Jr. is coming out of jail, right, for all that stuff that was going down. I I, well, he while. ended up being the highest paid man in Marvel history, so that's kind of nickels and dimes at that point. But um, of the announcements at D23, I am probably most excited for the cast of Thunderbolts. I think that is going to be a one that really pushes the story on down the line. I think that's going to have Civil War-style implications. That's going to be like a Diet Avengers movie. What do you think this like Halloween Marvel could be? Like, If you had to speculate, obviously this is pure speculation. We're going into the mind of Jack Austin. Mm. What do you think it's going to be? Because they already said they're making a zombies like animated, right? Right. That's, so they wouldn't that's double a, down, that would they? a done they? deal. No, no, no. They're, they are doing Marvel zombies in the animated What If universe. Here for it. So down. Um, but in terms of Halloween, I would love for it to be live action. I would love for it to be legitimately scary, but I'm trying to sit here and think what villains could be legitimately scary and actually have repercussions for it. And what heroes are showing up to fight? It's not going to be Thor. You know what I mean? Like wh- who's going to scare Thor? Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Like, you could you do Gore the God Killer as he's like? Well, Gore's well, already done, right? And he's already dead. Uh, I was thinking like Blackheart could be a really good one, but that's a huge name to show up for a Halloween special. Modok could be another good scary one because he's just the way his body is and how weird he looks. I don't know. I just can't. I don't see like a horror angle, right? You know, and what that's I mean? what I want to know because like guys like Mysterio are, are good for that. Mysterio is good for the illusions and messing with everyone's mind, and he's not even owned by Disney, so they can't use him. I don't know. Are they going to take some obscure villain, or like like what scale are they going to do the Halloween? You know what I mean? I don't mm-hmm. want it to be like a Home Alone situation in Avengers Tower where they're all just like, "Oh no, somebody locked that door. We can't get in." <laughs> <laughs> Rocking around. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to see. You know. Could Hawkeye it be like an X killing somebody with with paint flying down from a string in Avengers Tower? <laughs> sinister, like a sinister type, Mister Sinister. If they bring him, you know who would be great for the Halloween special? Carnage. But you know what? Whoa, let's get there's Carnage already USA. a really scary Carnage movie. The Carnage in movie. Venom. Let there be Carnage. It was so bad. It was scary. Yeah, it was real bad. So bad. I don't know. Shang-Chi 2. I'm excited. Let's get it. That's going to be a great movie. Shang-Chi 1 is uh, pretty incredible. So, I mean, I don't know. They really clearly like that director, too, because he's been pinned to do uh, Kang Dynasty, the movie. Mm -hmm. I just hope there's lots of Aquafina in that. I know, right? She's so good. She's freaking hilarious. Yeah, I, I'm very excited, and I hope Aquafina has a huge role in that one. But um, the the big one here, I guess, if we're looking at this, the one that's kind of a surprise is Deadpool three. Not a, not a surprise, but like we've been waiting. Ryan Reynolds is already the highest paid actor in the MCU history, and he's not shot a single screen of you know a single ounce of footage. They're just writing it right. All he's done is been in that little mini with Korg. So we haven't seen anything from him. I still think the most important one is Fantastic Four. That's the one that's going to build that like next saga. You're not going to. You got to bring out Doctor Doom, and you're not going to do it unless you got the Fantastic Four coming with you. And and I thousand percent agree with you. To me, like having the MCU gone as far as they have without the Fantastic Four is like doing a King Arthur story in never introducing Lance a lot. Yep. Right. You know what I mean? It's like you're. The, the first family of Marvel, I say that all the time, they're, they're huge. Their impact is widespread. They touch everything. They are able to handle street-level threats. They handle cosmic-level threats. The Fantastic Four are super utility. They're great characters. They can fit in 
literally anywhere. So for the fact that they've gone this long without them, I don't disagree. That's a tall ass. Is there any way Evans is the Human Torch again? I hope not. In a multiverse <laughs> movie, for great. sure. In a Secret Wars movie, absolutely. <laughs> I would love to see that. But not in the new, no. And then no. Michael B. Jordan, do they just take turns f- switching? <laughs> I wouldn't so mind him either. Saw, hold on. I saw, you know, so guys, I've talked about this guy before, Ryan Airy over on Screen Crush. He went into uh, a very in depth video of who he thinks the next Black Panther is, despite the most recent toy leaks that have come out. And he completely debunks it. Really? And he still thinks Michael B is going to end up being the actual Black Panther. I don't know. Those toys look like a girl. Well, they look like a woman. What I told they you is, like sh- you know, Shuri has built stuff like that before. It wouldn't surprise me, but we'll see. I think Black Panther 2 has done a phenomenal job of keeping things under wraps so far. But um, so the reason I say that is because we would see Michael B. Jordan as a human torch and as killmonger Black, yeah and then we'd see chris evans as human torch and as captain america that'd be kind of cool i'm here for it i mean i think that's great and i'm also ready for something anything out of armor wars uh, don Cheadle is another guy who's he's an og at this point he's Weren't been they supposed in, to make him a movie or something like that and they no just no keep no he was around? he was not ever scheduled to get a movie although i'd watch a war machine movie you kidding me? Hell I would yeah, love would. to watch a War Machine movie. It's one of my favorite parts in Endgame when he's like, back up, Sam. You're about to get your wings singed. And he's dropping those explosives <laughs> on this line of enemies that are coming in. I'm like, why doesn't everybody just leave? Let Rhodey take care of it. I like War Machine. Yeah. I liked him even in the cartoon back And another the thing that's rumored is we might see Frank Castle at D23. For some. Ooh. Is he going to be for Punisher or Daredevil? Punisher. I've seen as a rebooted Punisher. I've seen these new Vincent D'Onofrio Kingpin pictures. The these little leaked. He looks a little bigger. He looks like he's getting full again. He well, looks that's stocky. Good. I that's love good. it. I really do. I mean, Vincent D'Onofrio. That's I was suit. kind of annoyed with him at first as Kingpin, although he looks perfect. <sighs> so good. Um, but he just got a the way he would always talk like this, and he had to have oh. a certain way to say the words that came out of his mouth. Holy shit, it that's good. That is really good. Really annoying to me after a while. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we just talk like a normal human being. <laughs> that was really good, babe. <laughs> that's really good, brother, man. Let me right. just tell you. It's what I do, guys. I know, but still. Um, <laughs> anyway, I love Vincent D'Onofrio. I love him as Kingpin. I'm not trying to, you know, call for his head here or anything. I think he's fantastic. He's another guy who's going to touch a lot of different franchises mm-hmm. in the universe going forward. And that includes Rhodey in Armor Wars. He could easily do that. Do we get a Daredevil tease in, 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 in uh, at this D23? Do, you, do we get anything from Daredevil? Since it's been announced in this uh, the length of the series, by the way... I think Daredevil's length of series is like 23 episodes. That's longer than like the first four series put together. That That's the Disney Plus yeah. series? Holy yeah. crap. Yeah. Daredevil's going to be going for a while. Do we need it. that much Daredevil? Yes. And I'm all for it. Yes, yes we do. Yes. I'm all for it. Yes, we do. I'll answer that for you quickly that's and decisively. That's just one season? Yeah. Holy shit. And he's supposed yes. to show up in She-Hulk. I mean, the, I'm telling you. It's all he coming together, baby. It's all coming together. I like it a lot. My plan of the different levels, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to go into it. You guys know what I'm talking about. <sighs> but it's getting bigger, man. World War Hulk. That's a that's going to be amazing. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. That was an you so, okay, so you said they can't screw up on Fantastic they can't, Four. Cuz that'll destroy uh, their whole saga. I'm going to disagree with you. I think uh, Doctor Doom at this point in his comic book career transcends just being the main bad guy for the Fantastic Four. No, but you can't have one without the other. It's like peanut butter and jelly. You, Who just eats peanut butter sandwiches? Nobody. Uh, you. Uh, my wife does. She doesn't like jelly. What? That's a fact. <laughs> not even you, trying to be funny. That's you, she like jam or, or preservatives? No, not at all. What the freak? Peanut yeah, butter bro. on bread. That is it. I mean, what sure. about Nutella? She's 
fucking weird, bro. I don't even know why I married her, dude. Abby, <laughs> jelly. Stop Abby, it right well, now. I didn't say that. That's your husband who yeah, said you're your weird. your your work weird. husband is here to save you. I have had my fair share of peanut butter sandwiches you know back in the day. If she's a honey fan, she should just do <laughs> yeah. peanut butter and honey. Yeah, that's also a great combination. That's a great combo. great combination with a little banana. Oof, Let's do it. Oof. Okay, oh, calm bro, down there, Elvis. Crazy to her right now. Mm. So what's for dinner? It's peanut butter and bread. Okay, I was gonna say, but do you disagree with me that Doctor Doom doesn't transcend the Fantastic Four right now? Like you, you really think that you couldn't bring Doctor Doom to the forefront to fight Black Panther and people would be like, "No, he can't be there. He's supposed to be fighting." Not without Richard. some sort of Fantastic Four. Not when four. we haven't seen the Fantastic Four. That's kind of the like that's his whole thing. That's his, that's I mean, his niche. Amen. Here, here, help me out, Ryan. Voice of reason. That, that's what makes him come to be ryan help me me. help me out here it's a little weird because like you just went through thanos and then you're dropping down the doctor doom dropping Dropping down down. i mean as far as they see it in this universe i'm almost offended am i offended right now i'm offended i tell you that much i would say i would say shits on thanos in my opinion that's silly you're a silly boy i'd say same level i'm saying from what the impact of yeah. Thanos had. Thanos snapped away half the Avengers and the whatchamacallit. That's he needed true. five stones. That's yeah, true. he did. But what's that? Dr. He didn't Doom get all to? of them, but he he went and got them after they got them. Yeah, but what are you going to do with a character that's just been introduced? He's not going to come in that juiced up. Dr. Doom isn't going to be at, at that level. You know what I mean? You're not going to have that buildup of a bad guy. But here's the thing. Dr. Doctor Doom is superior level intellect. He's at Thanos level for that. He's a genius. There have been comic arcs where he's gotten uh, Odin's power and taken over all of See, existence. And I get that, but that's where, like, as you tell me, your comic book wants yeah. don't fucking matter in this movie world. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's what I'm going off of. You're in right. In this movie world, we don't know who Dr. Doom is. Yeah. Doctor Doom ain't that he ain't built like Which that. Which is why you need the Fantastic Four because you can't have one without the other. I bet you uh we see hints of Doctor Doom and Black Panther Wakanda forever. That's been rumored. I've been reading that too. I bet you we see it. I well mean, it makes sense if they're gonna so, build this saga and he's that top tier yeah. guy that they're going after. I don't want Doctor Doom to be a guy who they just end up beating and calling it a day. You don't really I like Doctor Doom. Doom being the ever present evil that could be out there. Amen. And you don't know when Dr. Doom is going to decide to come in and help you or come in and kill everyone. I love that about him. And I don't want my villains always to just die. But see, I mean, that's what they do, though. I get you. you. I mean? Doom doesn't like, die. I know, but that's what they do. And mo- like, look at the I whole agree. thing was I for agree. Thanos, and Thanos made it out yep. until he didn't. I agree, you know? and that's what I don't want. Yeah, right. I, 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 I'm hundred percent on board. And see, and that for that reason is why I think that if they did anything like that, it's going to be a higher celestial power, like a Galactus or someone that you just can't kill like that. I want Doctor Doom to be the problem until. Galactus shows up, Damn. and then Doctor Doom looks to all of them, like the genius he is, and like he's done a thousand times in the comics, and go, "Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to put all of this aside. We're going to focus on that, and once we win, I'll give you a week to prepare, and then I'm coming." Yep. What's wrong with that, Marvel? If you're taking Jack's idea, remember this idea was first hatched on the Alter Ego <laughs> podcast. <laughs> It's our idea. We here's don't mind a, sharing. Here's another one. Just share some of the profits. Here's another one. I'm just I kidding. think Doctor Doom makes friends with a certain Scarlet Witch. Ooh. But he does. He does that. He he he. In always, the comics, he's married. Pew, her. Pew, 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 pew. In the comics, he marries Scarlet Witch, and she Man, comes. She's back. really got a thing for metal dudes. She, huh? <laughs> she comes back with no memories, and so he is the master manipulator, and he's a master manipulator with a megaton nuke sitting next to him that's why dr doom is the ever-present bad guy so i don't know with that at least i just think that having him around makes for i don't know depth can't have him without it would but they kill off every i mean look how fast they killed off claw 
I hated that. I hated that. That was really dumb. I mean, Thanos is gone. Yeah. Um, there was some build-up there. But they're not really gone with this some, multi-universe There was some build-up for phase, <laughs> Only like 12 phase effing five, movies yeah. or how many damn movies <laughs> it was. There was a little build-up with Thanos. Yeah, well, just a tiny bit. They mentioned him yeah. once or twice. Yeah. He was on screen a few times. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> big deal. Even his lackeys, you know what I mean? They kill off a lot of people. They tend they to do. leave no they bad do. guys behind. But they're also getting ready to start breaking the mold here, baby. Not to mention, we're talking about Doom. We haven't touched Kang. We haven't touched the Celestials or Galactus or any of those other guys. There is so much out there. We haven't touched Modak. We haven't touched Modoc. anything. Modoc, sorry. Who's Whatever. meant to be the villain in, in the Ant-Man. next Quantumania, mm-hmm. which I'm all here for. They dropped that in November, I right hear. The first teaser. <sighs> what a time to be alive. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us here at the Alter Ego Podcast. I really, really hope you enjoyed episode 116. We are here weekly. Check us out on Facebook at the Alter Ego Podcast. Check it out, out on Instagram, Alter Ego Pod. You can email us at Alter Ego Podcast, too, if you really just hate all of my theories. At and just want At Gmail? At gmail.com. So if you want to uh, send me a nice uh, email about how much you hate my opinions, I'd love to delete it. Um, but if you love me... <laughs> Send it to us anyway. Discord. Oh, yeah. We're on Discord. Uh, So send the Alter Ego page a message wherever you follow us, and I will get you an invite to the Discord. It is under Seven Lamb Podcasts. So that not only that if you want to hang out with us me and rob will be live this thursday the 26th at 6 nope, p.m that's not the day eastern time eastern time 25th it's 25th 25th is thursday 25th thursday live stream see my face oh i love you ah please don't leave me <laughs>